Hello no nukers and subscribers I'm Julie and welcome to Deep 13th Nuclear Waste Info Fukushima Update. Let's start with the news. Commissioner Toyoshi Fukeda said Fukushima, taint rice paddies contamination, may have come from river and groundwater. Radioactive substances were found in the paddies after workers removed debris from the plant's number 3 reactor building in August last year. The authorities said the removal work released dust particles with 110 billion becquerels of radiation. The plant's operator, TEPCO, said the particles had relatively large diameters of several micrometers. Fuketa indicated that given the level of radiation, the particles had an environmental impact only in the plant compound. He suggested that the contamination may have come from river and groundwater. The authority is considering whether to make projections on how far radioactive particles will spread during debris removal and how they will affect rice fields. Japan's government is conducting a disaster preparedness drill on the scenario that an accident has occurred at a nuclear plant. The drill is based on government guidelines that were revised after the accident in Fukushima. About 3,700 people, including local residents and officials from about 150 organizations, are expected to join the two-day exercise. The drill assumes that a major earthquake has damaged the Shika plant on the Sea of Japan in Ishikawa Prefecture, causing a loss of cooling functions. Government officials set up a task force at the cabinet office in Tokyo and held an emergency meeting. All out efforts must be made to ensure the safety of residents and rescue personnel who need help as quickly as possible. Officials of Ishikawa Prefecture and neighboring Toyama Prefecture also held an emergency meeting. They communicated with the central government and off-site emergency operation facilities via video conference. The officials were checking an order from Tokyo calling for the evacuation of elderly residents living in a precautionary action zone within a five-kilometer radius of the plant. Former Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi has called for a society with more renewable energy and no nuclear plants. In a speech in Tokyo on Saturday, Koizumi referred to the delay in the timetable for decommissioning the N1 reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. He said there have been many human errors and technical failures at nuclear plants. And he said serious accidents have enormous impacts. Ko Oizumi also said Japan has not experienced a single power outage since its reactors went offline, and he said that is evidence that people can live without nuclear energy. Ko Oizumi also claims that renewable energy with government support, it could soon take the place of nuclear power. Trade and Industry Minister Yoichi Miyazawa has visited the damaged nuclear plant in Fukushima for the first time since taking office less than two weeks ago. The Minizer Miyazawa met workers at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, including those working to decommission the reactors. He would like to express his heartfelt respect to them for carrying out the tough and important work. And also said the government will steadily implement plans to decommission the reactors. The minister emphasized his resolve to do all he can to address the issue of water contaminated with radioactive substances. He said there will be no revival for Japan without the restoration of Fukushima Prefecture. He told reporters that he saw the site of an accident that should have never happened. He also said reactors at the nuclear plant in Satsuma Sendo, in Kagoshima Prefecture, will be restarted after full measures are in place to prevent an accident. The operator of the Takajama power plant on the Sea of Japan coast has submitted a report on revised safety measures to the country's nuclear regulator to restart two reactors. The revisions include higher maximum levels of tremors and tsunamis resulting from possible earthquakes. Kansai Electric raised its estimate for tremors from 550 gals to 700 and that for tsunami height from 2.6 meters to 6.7. The utility plans to install a large water pump and equipment for preventing hydrogen explosions. But before restart, the utility must obtain approval by local municipalities and complete equipment inspections and other procedures. 
The process is expected to take at least until next spring. Takajama would be the second plant to have a preliminary regulation plan drafted by the Nuclear Authority, following the Sendo plant in Kagoshima Prefecture, southern Japan. Thanks for watching Deep 13th Nuclear Waste Info and stay tuned.